We cannot disclose every detail. The, the, the innermost core of what we are planning. But I can tell you, it is beautiful. Do these men know that there's a prophet in Kololo who set them up as pawns on a chessboard several months ago? A royal oracle who sits on a throne above the affairs of man? Formed in 1953 to help agitate for independence, the Democratic Party is the oldest political party in Uganda. Their official colors are white and green. What would you say when God audibly answers this prayer and sends a man? What would you do when this man speaks out from the future of the land? What will you do with an anointing that effortlessly subdues the oldest political players in this land? In every generation, it pleases the sovereign God to raise a man into whose hand he commits the future of a nation. Uh, I saw the, the Ugandan flag, and then I saw, this was funny because I was, uh, I, I was moving somewhere, I was going to Entebbe to see something. Then a taxi bypassed us and it had two flags, eh? uh, two flags, and one of them was the Ugandan flag. So I looked at the Ugandan I was just reflecting in the speech. Definitely I was still in the place of here, yeah? but uh, I was in transition. So I saw, then I said, uh, somehow it, my mind just drifted and said, red, now red, the party, red, uh, you know, there's, a, there's been a party, wi red, which has ruled the country. Then yellow, there's been a party, uh, yellow, which has ruled the country. So as my mind was just drifting away, and then the Lord took me deeper, beyond my mind. Eh? Uh, and then I saw the political scene. After when the mountain is leveled and the valley is exalted. I saw that political scene after that time, eh? And a new political coalition begins to take shape. But I also see something like related to that coalition that is old. Look, look like something green, almost saying that let us also be part. Let us all, even us, we weren't. Eh? But there was a new political co coalition beginning to take shape. Firstly, following the now internationally famous events of the worldwide prophetic panorama that this same prophet had decreed, spanning countries across the globe, we see the power of the white horse that is powerful enough to restrain the red horse, beginning to shape the destiny of this country. After when the mountain is leveled and the valley is exalted. Secondly, the events of Arua in 2018, decreed by the Royal Oracle, led to what has widely been seen as the end of Kano Besige and FDC as the mountain of the popular opposition, as valleys began to emerge from political obscurity. A new political coalition begins to take shape This is seen when Dr. Abed Bwanika, Michael Mawike, Honorable Norbert Mao, and Honorable Robert Chagulang come together to form a new political bloc. The three opposition parties say they have decided to mount a united front with the common objective of bringing about political change in the country. We cannot disclose every detail, the, the, the innermost core of what we are planning. But I can tell you, it is beautiful. There are people in opposition who are struggling to remain relevant. The DP bloc is going to present a single electoral platform. Other opposition political parties were in attendance and welcomed the idea of different opposition parties working together. We either unite and win this guy as brothers or let us all be eaten as food. The DP bloc coalition says they are just the nucleus around which other political parties and organizations can join. In 
Interesting to note, this royal decree from the mouth of God's mouthpiece began to shape the future of the land with the design of the emblem representing the new forces in the political arena. You know, there's, a, there's been a party red which has ruled the country. Then yellow, there's been a party yellow which has ruled the country. But I also see something like related to that coalition that is old. Look, look like something green almost saying that let us also be part. Let us all... Even us, we want to. Before that thought was even hatched in their minds, one with a side farmer, sharper and alert, had seen them sign a memorandum of understanding, whose contents he read before they even wrote it. Who is in charge of this unfolding future? Is it the power of God through his ordained oracles or is it the political players? You decide. What will you do with this anointing that powerfully orders the affairs of the mountain of governance? Do not let your destiny hang in the balance.